Oh. Oh, it really it's is a happened. lockdown. Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. The fog. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. The fog. It's like Stephen King's The Mist, but more anime. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh, yeah. You mean Mayumi Yamano, right? Oh, did she disappear? <laughs> I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Now they're gossip. Are you serious? H hey, Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? Ah, Yukiko. Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. You know, client confidentiality and all that. Yeah, I guess not. That's kind of a yes, though. Oh, sheesh. How much longer is this gonna take? Depends. There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. I mean, you could always vault dramatically. Vault? Vault dramatically out the window. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights? Oh. No, not yet. Sorry. Aw, that's okay. It's just, I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. Attention, all students. Yeah? There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Oh. <laughs> okay. Shit. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. I don't think we can do that, though, because our uncle's a cop. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. Yukiko's hair is clipping out of her torso. It is slightly distracting. I repeat. Incident? That's been a murder. What? Something actually happened? This really is a country town. Come on, let's go take a look. I shouldn't be one to talk. I live in the countryside, and the most exciting thing that's happened here, so, like, at least outside of my house, is the car accident, like, a year ago, where some drunk dude took out a sign and a light pole and a wall. He was shockingly okay. Car wasn't, though. Car was done. Are you going home by yourself? I guess so. Why don't you come with us? Cool. Let's. Well, actually, I don't know. The teacher might eat me for fraternizing with the opposing sex. Actually, that reminds me of my high school, where you weren't allowed to hold hands or hug the same gender. Uh, or, well, the same sex. I don't know. Well, maybe it would have been gender, too. This is before people actually started talking about that, so... Probably would have confused them too. But you couldn't do that because it might make you gay. That, I think, was the stupidest damn thing that I ever had said to me. Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know, Hi, I Chie. sit next to you, right? Yes. You do? <laughs> well, nice to meet you. This is Yukiko Amagi. Yukiko. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. I don't think it's sudden to introduce yourself to somebody and tell them your name and say you want to walk home together. Seems like something you'd do if you just want to get to know someone. I just wanted to ask some stuff, really. That's all. I have to say, though, if it's April, I mean... Maybe their school's really far north. I don't know if it's still cold enough outside to be wearing sweaters and jackets, but... No, maybe because it's raining. Uh, um, Miss Satanaka. Oh, he's bleak looking now. Poor guy. This 
was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. And I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. See ya. Thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? He ate it. Oh my god. What the? I can't believe this! It's completely cracked! He's the most unlucky boy. Oh! My trial of the dragon! Oh. I think mine's cracked too. Critical hit to the Nads. Why does this universe hate your Nads, bro? He hit it with his bike, he slammed him into a desk. This universe doesn't want you to reproduce, apparently. Uh, are you alright? Oh, Yukiko-san. Are you worried about me? I think anyone would be, honestly. He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. Gee, I think he's really hurt. He looks like he's in a lot of pain. You should leave him be. Maybe I should take him to the nurse's office and get him an ice pack. You're Yuki, right? Y you wanna go hang out somewhere? What's wrong with your eyes? <laughs> what? Who are you? What's up with him? What school's he from? Not this one, which is weird. Cause this is a tiny town, so I don't think they have more than one school. Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. <laughs> no bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? Uh, so, uh, are you coming or not? Oh, no. I, I'm not going. Fine! Okay, bye! Well, what did he want from me? Fucking creeper, that's for sure. You should keep, like, a can of pepper spray on you. Or, taser. What did he want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. Yeah, but she doesn't know him. Huh? Really? Then again, Yukigo does seem to be a little dense, so... You really had no clue? Sheesh. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yeah, in Japan, you don't call people you've just met by their first name. It's Well, actually, even people you've known for a long time. Unless they specifically say you can call me by my first name, you don't do that. It's considered rude and creepy. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned hey, down okay. another lovelorn fool, huh? Please be careful with your bike. You have already destroyed your, <laughs> your reproductive system several times today. Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Oh. Oh, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Oh. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> We're going to be best friends because I know that I can't date you in this game. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. We're just curious is all! Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Come on, let's go! Everyone's staring. Probably because you're just standing there. <laughs> okay. An old man with a different Shiba. Oh. Shibi, Shibi. So you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. No, Chie, it's not Persona 5. <laughs> there really is nothing here, huh? 
A lot of rice. That's what makes it nice. But there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. Well, it seems kind of quaint. The real difficulty is just if you want to go somewhere, it's far away. But I wouldn't mind living in a place like this, provided I could, you know, and I mean, that's probably what the train station's for, hop on the train and go somewhere. Though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. I see. Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. <laughs> Does it have an onsen? Huh? It's just an old inn. Hot spring. Hot spring. No way. Hot spring. It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure. Hot spring. Hot spring. Hot spring. It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is going to take over someday. Awesome. Also, I'd love to go to a hot spring. I'd love to go to a spa. Oh, I'd love to go to one of those hotels that they've got in anime. I don't know if they're real, but they're basically spas. And you stay there for like a weekend. Oh my god, I'd love to go to one. Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. That sounded slightly conspiratorial, Chihei. I don't think that's entirely true. Aw. You're so modest. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? It's hard to say! <laughs> I'm gonna wisely say nothing. Whoa! Are you blushing? <laughs> oh, okay. Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? Chie, come on. Don't pick on her, man. <laughs> come on, stop it. She told you to stop, like, twice now. Seriously, knock it off. You shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Jeez, Chie. If it wasn't for the fact that I know she drives people away because they keep harassing you, I think she was trying to hook you up. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. But this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city. And you barely said a word. It's because she's shy. Let her open up on her own, oh my god. Hey, what's that? Is it a dead body? Oh shit, it might actually be a dead body. So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street... Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? I wanted to see it too. So I'm pretty sure they're talking about a corpse, also that's fucking morbid. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. How bored are you that you're excited to see the body of a teenager hanging from an antenna? Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. It was a murder. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Hey, it's my uncle! Hey, my uncle. what are you doing here? Going home. Huh. I should have figured that had happened. Yeah, it's like right next to the school. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. They should have told us to go a different way. You know this guy? He's my uncle! I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh... Well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. You make it sound like I'm a bad person to hang out with, Uncle. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. Oh. <coughs> well. Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? 
I'm pretty sure being ill at the sight of a dead body is totally normal, though. I'm sorry. <clears throat> oh, go wash your face. We're gonna go around and gather information. Oh, Lord. Was this what that announcement was about? I think so, yeah. What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Like somebody tied it up there, I guess? Hey, Yukiko. Why don't we go to Juness some other time? Yeah, let's not go anywhere special today. Good idea. Alright then, we're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor, let's do our best. Chie's so spunky, and I like her, but she really needs to, like, back off of Yukiko. I know she's shy and you want her to be outgoing, but you're being mean. It's not like my character talks much, either. The two of them left. You decide to head away from the crime scene. Yeah, let's go home. Oh! I can go places! So this would be home. Well, this is where Chia, uh, not Chia, Nanako was. Let's see what's here. I'm gonna go to each place. You must be a student of Yasagami High. You should head straight home for today. Farming man, I keep hearing the police sirens today. I'm not used to all that noise. It's really unsettling. March. Leave the floodplain? Yes. I have a feeling no matter where I go, it's gonna make me go home. So let's just go home for now. Bike. There's a scooter parked in front of the house. Oh. What? Oh. Housewife in farming clothes. And it was terrible! I was doing some work on the farm and the police came around to question me. It's such a dangerous world these days. I can't even relax when I go out shopping. I was gonna buy some tiny soul tomato for dinner tonight too. What now? Oh, that's no problem. Here, you can have some that I harvested from my garden. It's no big thing. Anyone can start a home garden, as long as they have some unused land to work with. You take that spot next to the Dojima place, for example. That's more than enough land to make a fine garden. Oh my, is that so? If they can start home garden too, does that mean I can look forward to them sharing the vegetables they grow? <laughs> I think I can make a garden. <laughs> If they took that open land and made it into a garden, it'd be a mighty fine one. I wish we had some open land like that. There's an empty patch of dirt in the open space next to the house. Alright. So this is our house. Oh, and that's, that's going back to town. So no. It'll become evening when you return home. Return home? For now, yeah. I doubt that there's anything we can do yet. The game very strongly like, go the fuck home. I wonder if like Dad's not go. coming home again tonight. Oh, for Nanako. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. Aww. The school zone is being shown on TV. Could this be the incident you heard about? The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano. A oh, it's the lady! A 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. Who is under investigation for an affair. Me think there may have been some foul play. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... 
Uh, the, the Annaba Police Department. That's where Dad works. Oh, no, no. <sighs> it'll be okay. I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Okay, then. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. Bet it scared the people who lived there. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. It makes it sound like she plunged out of the fucking sky. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. So if you're the criminal, you have some time to hide your evidence. It seems that the local TV station's announcer was found dead near the Yasogami High School campus. The announcer, Mayumi Yamano. Her affair with a local councilman's secretary had been on the news just the other day. They found her on the roof? That's scary. Yeah, it is. Uh, oh, it's Juness. Oh, no, Nicole. I feel bad that the highlight of her day is the Juness commercial. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Makes it sound like I'm gonna give them a phone call. Every day's great at your Juness. Oh. Every day's great. Your Juness. Oh, Nanako. Nanako is looking at you expectantly. <laughs> Let's just do what she wants. Your Juness. <laughs> you memorized it already? <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. Oh no, all the children have memorized the commercial. <laughs> Monica sings the song to herself over and over again. It seems that she's forgotten all about the scary story. Oh, no, Nicole. Oh, no, Nicole. Oh, I slid. When is Dad coming home? Nanako keeps looking towards the TV with a worried expression. You should leave her alone. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of my followers over on Patreon and give a special shout out to Jack Fox, Old Monster, Dizarin, Jan Shalom, and Stellar Cat. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Like what you saw? Have thoughts you want to share? Let me know in the comments. Want to help my channel grow? Then share with your friends or subscribe so that you never miss a new video. If you'd like to help me out and get some neat rewards, consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much, you guys. I really couldn't do it without you.